my channel this is Mabel welcome back to Mabel's kitchen today I won't be cooking but rather I'll be talking to you about 10 practical ways you can improve your well-being okay so baby steps simple ways okay so let's get right into it first is drink water lots of it I mean lots of water lots and lots and lots and lots of water now if you don't have a water bottle it's time to get one because I've noticed over time that water bottles help me to drink more you should have a water bottle in your work table you're catching up on a movie or series um just have your water bottle by your side and drink you're going for a walk fill in your water bottle take it along with you and just have a drink of water it's that simple you're having a meal drink some water while cooking drink some water first thing in the morning when you wake up just drink water okay um averagely you want to drink at least two to three liters of water per day it's going to help improve your general health you're going to start feeling better once you start drinking you will start feeling better it just makes everything right and the second tip cut down on sugars now especially refined sugars we have natural sugar intrinsic sugar in um fruits and in some natural food products now so mostly i'm talking about refined sugar cut down on sugars do you actually read food labels okay i do so it's important you buy products with less sugar in it read food labels check the sugar concentration check the sugar contents of the products you want to buy and just buy products with less sugar um, is it better to use sweetener in your drinks? Is it better to use sweetener in your tea, in your coffee, uh, than to use sugar? Also, fat used to be the enemy, but I tell you, sugar is a far greater enemy than fat. We used to emphasize on, oh, you're eating too much of fat, this, fat, that. But sugar is a far greater enemy than fat is. So you need, if you cut down on your sugar, definitely you will feel better with yourself. Within a short time, you're going to see the results. Your body will feel more energized you feel lighter you just feel better with yourself and your digestive system is going to feel better as well what the organization specification the sugar you're required to have in a day is about six teaspoons of sugar now you think that's a lot but no it's actually not a lot by the time you consume a small cup of yogurt sweetened yogurt and um two or three cookies actually you're done for the day you've consumed your daily allowance of sugar so just look at it like that and number three hmm, diet 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 not your diet um i know a lot of people talk about diet it's not easy for a lot of people to change their diet now change is very very difficult but change is necessary okay and you don't just want to change your diet overnight this would be overwhelming for you and you won't be able to sustain it so you want to start taking steps that are sustainable simple steps that are sustainable little little steps okay for example um if you eat a lot of rice in your diet okay so you want to swap rice for burger you want to swap rice for wheat you want to swap rice for couscous um quinoa you want to swap rice from some other foods that has a lot of fiber content more fiber easy digestion they have less carbohydrates not necessarily less carbohydrate but they have more fiber and more protein most of them so it's better for you another important thing you can do is to you actually use less for it to cook use less oil to cook so you want to mix it and then you're using a cup of oil or two cups this is absolutely unnecessary okay i know maybe for some it tastes great but if you use a teaspoon of oil or a tablespoon of oil the food is still going to taste great so there's no point having overflow of oil on your food it's actually very very bad for your health okay and also if you can afford it try to buy good vegetable oils try to buy for example olive oil um you can buy extra virgin oil um for cooking so since you'll be using less quantity actually you realize that you're not spending a lot and um, to actually replace the bad oil with good ones and as much as possible if, if you can avoid frying please do so most of the time i prefer to grill my meat um i prefer to grill my fish instead of deep frying so even when you grill the fish this gets out the extra fat from the meat the extra fat from the meat is extracted so it's actually better for you so it's better to to grill your food than to deep fry now in your diet also um it's important to replace 
saturated fats with unsaturated fat now most of the meats we consume actually have saturated fat like beef like pork lamb uh the mostly contain saturated fats so um and also butter and uh, sour cream ice cream so for example you can swap your normal butter spread for peanut butter now peanut butter uh, is mostly unsaturated fat so that's better for you uh, instead of using butter as spread for your bread for your toast you can use avocado this is a very good fruit with unsaturated fats saturated fats raise the level of go both the good and the bad cholesterol that's the fats in your body so when because it raises the level of both the good and the fat cholesterol this increases your chances of cardiovascular diseases heart problems you don't want that right another very bad food that people consume is dairy milk now consuming dairy milk with lots of fat so it's important to read food labels you want to buy your milk and um, just read like before i realized actually there was this of course i'm not going to name the product but a particular nigerian brand of milk has 32 gram of fat that's just too much for what you need okay and then i swapped to um a milk with nine grams of fat and gradually i even changed to milk with less than two percent of fat you will get your daily fat requirement from a lot of things from your meals from your food so you don't need um extra source of fat basically okay so these are ways you can actually practically cut down on unnecessary calories unnecessary fats okay using better mix you can change to plant-based milk um you can change from dairy mix to almond milk and a lot of dairy alternatives okay um almond milk soya milk um oat milk besides there's a link there on how to make your own oat milk very healthy for you less fats more fiber a lot of protein very nutritious and number four try to incorporate vegetables into your meals try as much as possible to incorporate vegetables into your meals you want to have um boiled white rice you can have some green peas you can add some sweet corn to it you can add some spring onions just try as much as possible to incorporate vegetables for you the um advantages of vegetables are just too numerous apart from the fact that they help with your digestion they provide you with iron calcium and um, a lot of nutrients a lot of vitamins and minerals um advantages of vegetables are just too enormous to ignore you might not have access to fresh vegetables all the time so you can stock up on frozen vegetables they work just fine, fine. um also you can incorporate vegetables into your smoothie um you can blend them and drink you're not trying to become a vegetarian overnight okay you're just trying to incorporate vegetables into your meal now if you do it step by step it will be easier for you to get used to it you just don't want to wake up overnight and start eating broccoli just steamed broccoli that's not going to work maybe you eat it for a day or two and then you get tired of it okay so you want to um and then you want to you want to explore okay try lots of new vegetables you never know you might just find ones that you really like okay so you want to explore try lots of new vegetables and you might just end up finding some that you really like another way to eat vegetables is adding vegetables to foods that you really like so you love to eat jollof rice for example um so as jollof rice so with your jollof rice you want to have some steamed vegetables just add some um, steamed carrots sweet corn green peas on the side with your roasted chicken um you know it will still be enjoyable try. and the fifth point is to cut out unhealthy snacks and drinks now um you just find yourself snacking on um chocolates and biscuits this cookies biscuits they contain lots of calories by the time you consume two biscuits you've consumed a lot of calories actually so snacking on on healthy foods snacking on on healthy foods can actually build up um unnecessary fats in your body unnecessary extra weight can cause um extra weight gain for you okay so you can snack on fruits you can snack on carrot sticks um you can snack on apple you can snack on grapes you can snack on strawberries you can snack on popcorn um things like that 
they will still be satisfying but they contain less calorie and they have more fiber they have more vitamins and minerals they are good for the body thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so um also share my videos with your friends it's your girl dr mabel until next time bye bye stay safe and i'll see you in my next video